Hey everybody, it's me, Mark of Manlock Sinks, and today we're going to talk about bleaching FP100C negatives. First of all, sorry that I wasn't around for a long time, but I got sick, like everybody in Austria was sick, and then there was Easter, and I'm doing a lot in the studio, so we can finally start the 8x10 process, because in here it's a little bit too cozy, I mean the room looks big on the camera, but mm. yeah, let's go to the topic that we are talking about today, and that's bleaching the FP100C negative. So what we need for it is an already exposed image of an FP100C, and from this one the negative. I have two negatives here, these are from 10 transfers I did a few years back, you can already see something on the negative here, and they're pretty clean. And what we need to do before we, like when we start with this process, is get rid of all the paper surrounding the image. So all these pots that you maybe saved, and all this black here, where it's glued on. So we just need to get these off the film, and you just go here. Get that off. We take the second part here. It's also not that hard. Just rip it off the right way. And yeah, that's the negative we're gonna use to work with. And let's do that with the second. So we got our two negatives prepared. And now let's go to the real bleaching. It's just like to prepare these images. I will show you two techniques. One will be just using water to adhere the image to the glass plate we have down here. And the other one will be gluing it with a tape to the, to the glass plate. And afterwards we're gonna use the bleach. So uh, what I use is this here, Dunk Lorex. And what you should look when you are shopping for that kind of stuff is that it has chlor inside. So the chlor is the important part that dissolves the, um, the back layer of the image. So that's important to get something that does this. I prefer the spray on actually, but I didn't find it this time. So we're gonna use this one. I prepared some water, some gloves, since we are working with chlor and everything, you should be in a ventilated room and you should wear safety. And then we have some PVC rollers to be used for the transfer already. And these we're gonna use to put the negative onto the glass. That's easy. And then I got some magic tape. It's tape. To just tape the negative to the surface. So, why these two techniques? I personally use the water technique a lot of times and it worked always great for me with the spray on. But last time I tried it with this one and there was some bleach going under the, the negative and touch the front, which I don't want to. So we're gonna try the tape version and the water adhesive version. Both of them are pretty easy. So we have our glass plate. I would recommend a glass plate or some flat, really flat surface that you work on. And then we, then we have here our tray. I normally do it in the bathroom and just like go into the sink. But since we're here in the office, we're gonna use the development tray to water it and to rinse it. First things first, since we're gonna use using the tape first, we're gonna tape the first image to the glass, and I'm gonna do that without gloves, because otherwise that will be a troublesome experience. Where do we need to have the side that's <laughs> gonna be bleached? The black, bleached side is the black one on the back, and we're gonna put the image flat on that surface, and just see that you are just touching the edges of the image, and see that the tape is really sticking well to the surface. Why don't we have any problem taping it on the edges here? Because the really important part of the image, as you can see here, so we still have these frames, so we have no problem taping it to the glass with this side. First image is stuck to the glass plate, and now we go to the second one. And the second one gets a little water rinse before, since we have some paper left here on the edge and I kind of want to get that off with the water and also get the whole surface wet. Get it over there. And as soon as you start wetting the image you already can see that there is a lot more on that image that we see. I'm gonna clean off that, rinse it again a little bit. Let's see that there is water on the image and I also give a little drop here. And you will see as soon as you put the image on the glass, it immediately starts to sit. 
then we just squeeze it with our PVC rollers till it's completely stuck to the glass, don't move it too much. We got both images, the top one is tape, the bottom one is just with adhesion of water in there. So now I got wet hands, which will be a fun to get into gloves. You see that? Okay, black gloves. Let's take our bleach. Don't forget, don't get that stuff into your eyes, mouth, anywhere. Save it somewhere far away from kids and be in a ventilated room. Otherwise, your head will yeah, hurt. So as you can see, I can already move my finger over it and clean off that stuff. That bleach is so strong that it just like works magic on that image. And the problem I already have here, the negative lifter. So we're gonna take this one here, the water adhesion, and rinse it with water already. And you see these black flakes coming off, also rinse the front. Messy stuff here! That's the first negative. I'm gonna put that aside here. And now let's take the whole glass plate. Ooh, move it inside here. Take your water. Just... You can see the black flakes coming off the image already. Let's give it a soft little wipe on here. Rinse it once for one last time. Great! What did I tell you about sticky tape? Always have a corner where you put it or a basket. So it's immediately a way of a working environment so it doesn't get touchy. Okay, let's get that image off. And here we got our really nice negative. And you can see that's the nice little negative here. You can already see through. And we can put that stuff in our scanner now. The details of this film are amazing, I still love it. And scan this stuff. Easy to bleach them, just watch out, give them a little water rinse at the end, the negative, and hang them to dry so they don't have any lines in the back like I do now from swiping. So I normally give them a last rinse in like in water, and then I just hang them up to dry. It's pretty easy, the process, but it gives you a really nice color negative of your FP100C. So with the prices at the moment and maybe your storage going to an end of the film, it's always good to have a spare image, like you have your regular image and then you have a negative of that image too. So I wouldn't throw away the negatives, just keep them. Also like, I have a box full of old FB100C negative that I never bleached, but I could use them one day. I, I, I can just, like when I have time, just go there, take a big glass blade, tape them all on and just go with bleach over it, rinse it and I got my negative again. Yeah, okay, that's it for today. <laughs> It's pretty easy, uh, if you like that one, try it at home. If you still have some FB100C, you're lucky and try to do that before the prices are skyrocketing more than they are already. And while we're on the topic of skyrocketing prices and FB100C that's gone, my integral back for 4x5 is going really well. That's it actually. Integral sliding back, which goes like... It's still a little too tight. I, I didn't put enough dimensions, like, or it's it's a tight fit, there's no light leaks, I, I guess, <laughs> for that part at least. So, how it works, you put your focus on the ground face here, and then you just move it over. Just move it over, I know. Have this one here, the FBU comes here in the back, I'm just kneading the back part, that's why it's not mounted at the moment, and dark light open, expose, close it again. Switch back and you're ready to shoot again. So the prototype is going pretty well and I hope you like it and let's see what we can do it. Um, if you are interested in getting one of these or printing one yourself um, the plans will go online on Thingiverse or my mini, my mini factory something like that for free and you can produce it yourself. So if you liked that video hit like, if you did thumbs down. If you have any questions or suggestions to bleaching, I'm really happy to know your experiences and ideas and everything. Yeah, if you have any comments, drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to discuss it with you and hope to see you next week. Bye!